Hey everybody, this is Alex Merced, Developer Advocate here at Dremio with another video. We're going to be talking about Dremio SQL functions. And in this video, what I want to do is talk about the first value function. What it does is that it's going to, like other window functions, it'll rank your rows, but what it returns is not the rank, but the value of the top ranked row. Okay, so why would I use this? Well, one example we're going to show you here is that I have a bunch of salespeople in different departments. And what I'd like to know is who is the top performer in each department and how far behind all my other salespeople behind that top performer. Okay. Slightly a cruel way to put it, but an example nonetheless. Um, so let me head over to my uh, SQL editor and go to my scripts, go pull up my demo. So click demo to go search to my scripts. And there's my first value demo. Okay. And basically we're going to create a table with the salesperson department and their total sales for each salesperson. Okay, we're going to create that table. We're going to enter the record. So here we have our different salespeople in different departments in the company who are selling stuff in their total sales. And then here what we're going to do is we're going to say, hey, I want the first value of the total sales column. That's what I want. Okay. But I want you to partition by. So this means I want you to group people. So I don't care about, you know, who someone is. I care about each department individually. And I want you to rank each department and use the first value for each department. And again, I want you to, the way you determine the rank is by the order of the total sales column. But what, you, what you're going to give me back is the value in that total sales column. Okay. And we're going to call this as top sales and department. Okay. So basically you're going to see that in every row, we're going to have the top sales and department. So that way we can then create another column where we just take the total sales of that uh, person, subtract it from the top performing sales number. So we can get the difference from the top. So we can just see sort of from the best, where do they, they fall into? Okay, awesome. So let's do that. Um, okay, let's run that. So again, I'm gonna put my cursor all the way up here. I wanna make sure I set my context to my demos folder. So demos 2024, January, that's where I want it. Okay, I'm gonna hit run. And let's watch it run. So it's created the table already. Now it's gonna be inserting all the records that we spotlighted. And that's going to be done now. And now we'll run the query and that should be done pretty quick. There we go. Okay. So again, we inserted the records and then here is the result. So as we can see here, everyone's grouped by their department and we can see that the top performer for the electronic department did 20,000 in sales. So we go to each person. Well, of course, Diana, who is the top performer, her difference between the top performer is zero. And then we see 3,000, 5,000, 8,000. Okay. So I can see sort of, you know, Alice fell was was uh, the furthest behind so then you know i can take a look at more deeper into like what are the dynamics like okay well you know is it a difference in uh, is it a need for training is it are there other circumstances that just sort of explain the difference far as just sort of like you know where they assigned to a particular region that's just particularly rough you know there's sort of, we can dig deeper into the data from there and then i can see the same thing for the other departments so anyone who has a zero here is going to be the top performer. And then the other one will illustrate sort of the absolute difference because it's not just that they were the next best performer, but I mean, imagine that like Hank here, second performer was 8,000 behind. Okay. That'd be a large, significant difference. So if all my salespeople were way behind the top performer, that also is a concern because you generally want, you know, you want that distribution to be better because you want, you want a team of performers, not just a single performer carrying the weight for your entire sales team. So you know, this kind of gives me a, a, a clearer picture of that. Okay, so this is one way you can use the first value um, function here in uh, SQL, which is usable in Dremio. And I'll see you in the next one. And again, you can find all the code in the video description on YouTube, and you can make sure to like, subscribe to the channel, like this video, leave a comment on YouTube, and follow Dremio on Twitter and LinkedIn as well. I'll see you all later on. Have a great one.